Um, without further ado, um, we will move to the first of our speakers. And this is um, covering phase two and three update. And it's Dean Harris from Homes England. Hello. Hello, Dean. Hi, Chair. Hello, everyone. I'm going to try and share my screen. Just bear with me a second. So um, just a quick update on phase two and three. In the update, I'll be covering phase three planning, the heritage annex and central one. In terms of phase three, this falls into two parts, 3A to the south of North Stowe, 3B to the north. Together, these will deliver the final 5,000 homes of North Stowe along with three primary schools and a local centre. Outline planning applications were considered by South Cam's planning committee um, in January and February, uh, just recently, uh, and were approved subject to completion of section 106 agreements to secure 40% affordable housing and approximately 90 million pounds worth of community benefits. In terms of the Heritage Annex, I suspect many have heard of the Heritage Annex, which is planned next to North Stowe House off Frampton Road. This is just a, um, an update on the kind of latest position. So the Annex is a, a partnership project between Cambridgeshire County Council, National Highways, Homes England and the Longstanton and District Heritage Society. It'll be home for artefacts from the A14 works, North Stowe archaeological works and the LDHS archive. So everything from uh, mammoth tusks to Roman pottery to uh, RAF uniforms and everything um, in between. There's a new modular design um, based on uh, reused shipping containers. And this is in for planning at the moment. The decision's expected any time and Luke might be able to update us in his uh, uh, presentation afterwards. Um, the subject to getting planning permission, the plan is to start on site this spring and with a quick build uh, enabled by modular construction, uh, open towards the end of this year. So here's just some general kind of images of the uh, annex with uh, North Stowe House in the background. The exterior is designed to kind of harmonise with North Stowe House with uh, vertical timber cladding. The inside is conceived as kind of simple and clutter free with the focus being on the artefacts and interpretation. And obviously the hope is that this will be an important um, community resource uh, delivered this year. And then Central One. This is an initial phase of North Stowe Town Centre. As explained at a previous meeting, we're currently seeking a development partner to help us deliver this. I wanted to share a short video um, that's kind of hot off the press uh, with you that shows the proposal in more detail. So here's North Stowe as it is more or less at the moment, looking from phase one south towards phase two and central one. Central one is springing up here in colour uh, next to the um, secondary college. So the schools on the left here, central one is um, around in green, yellow and red. The green is uh, the residential component, the, the homes. Here's um, some apartments, four or five stories and just um, moving around to some more conventional houses here, terraced and semi-detached, uh, two and three storey. We're then going to zoom in to the heart of uh, Central One and the flexible market hall, which is a kind of key component of the, the um, Central One in, for independent retail, food and drink, and incorporating workspace. 
Here's a mixed use block with a convenience store on the ground floor. It may or may not be a Sainsbury's, maybe a Tesco's, Lidl. We don't know yet, but the intention is there will be a convenience store on the ground floor of that uh, block. And South Cams are to uh, deliver the Civic Hub here. Uh, financial contributions being made by uh, Homes England to deliver library, health and community space on this site in the, the, the red building. And then the, the video sort of pans round to some areas earmarked for parking, initially surface parking in the long term, potentially multi-storey car parking, as you might imagine in a, a town centre. Here's a temporary car park uh, whilst the multi-storey is um, potentially being built and that temporary car park will be developed in time. Open space is an important part of Central One, some uh, community gardens and neighbourhood play area and a town park uh, in time. And then the camera zooms out to show how this all fits together, Central One within Phase Two, Phase One uh, in the background. The, the final thing to say uh, is just about kind of timescales. The intention is to um, seek a uh, development partner um, this year, uh, apply for detailed planning and start on site towards the end of um, next year. So the first facilities being delivered from 2024 through to 2027. That concludes my um, presentation. I, um, I don't know if there's been any uh, questions come in, Chair. Happy to answer those or pick them up towards the end. Okay, thank you, Dean. Yeah, we've, I've got one question at the moment and I would encourage anybody to, um, if you have any questions for Dean, can you put, put them in the Q&A now? The one question I've got, Dean, is, are there any plans to place, uh, uh, sorry, I'll start again. Are there any plans in place to monitor the rare breeding birds in phase two? with Avocet and Little Ring Plover currently showing signs of breeding. Both are Schedule 1 species that bred last year. Thanks, Chair. We do have ecologists um, uh, that are appointed and on site. Uh, I, I suspect the, uh, the questioner knows a lot about this subject, judging by the quality of the question. And I'd um, suggest that the questioner kind of um, keep in touch with us really as to um, that kind of intel because that's really useful for us to uh, know. Obviously it's exciting and, and good news that um, these areas are attracting this kind of wildlife already uh, so um, that's fantastic. What we don't want, clearly want to do is to disturb them whilst we're concluding the works so um, yeah we do need to be mindful yeah. of that so really good point. Okay sorry I should have said at the beginning that was from um, a Hugh Venables who asked that question okay the next question is from martin smith when will sarw open the thanks chair seven access road west is the north Stone access road the um the road works on the b1050 are on schedule and we're targeting uh, end of april for road opening i can't uh, offer a specific date i have attempted to uh, kind of lever uh, a specific date out of our uh, contractors um, without <laughs> without success. So uh, towards the end of April is my um, sort of best offering really at this point in time. Okay, thank you. Uh, and a third question from Richard Berenbrink. Can you share the video link, please? I can I will um, send it to Catherine after the meeting and she can circulate that with the papers or put it on the internet internet website right. that, that, that's good thank you um, another question from Hugh Venables he says I sent an email recently with more details uh, I think this is linked to the first question about um, the birds uh, I sent an email recently with more details and happy to keep in touch. So he's he's just basically saying, yeah, let's talk. <laughs> yeah. No, absolutely. And I have seen that uh, email that I've shared with colleagues. So very grateful for it. So absolutely. OK, thank you. I, at the moment, Dean, that looks to be the last question. 
Uh, I'll just give it, I'll just, just give it a few seconds in case. No, I think uh, if, if anyone else has uh, questions for you, Dean, we'll ask them to uh, put them to you at the end of the at the end of the, the end session. OK, so thank you, Dean, for now. Thank you. The, the second.